This conference will now be recorded. Rajni Jain on behalf of agriculture.com, I would like to welcome you all to this online meeting. Please take a moment to review the guidelines for this online meeting posted in the chat window. I now request the moderator, Mr. Lakshapati, to introduce the speaker and start the meeting. Thank you. Mm, thank you, Ms. Rajni. Good morning, everyone. I am Lakshapati. I will be moderating this meeting. Agricultureinformation.com likes to welcome to this meeting Mr. Malinath Hemadi, the agriculture consultant from Kalaburgi, Karnataka. Mr. Malinath Hemadi will be speaking on the topic how to use weeds in farming to maximize profit. I now request the speaker to begin. Good morning, everybody. Very good morning. Now we'll try to understand what is weeds and what is Okay, so good morning, sir. Uh, so it's like uh, today we'll try to understand about the weeds in farming and uh, why weeds are being called weeds, and uh, we'll let you know in a while of this time. Okay, now uh, getting into weeds in farming, we'll try to understand what is uh, farming. And everyone knows this like activity or a business of growing crops and raising livestock. This everyone knows it. I need not explain you. It is for providing food and raw materials. This statement we need to remember. Of farming, we do it for, for providing food and raw materials for our needs. Then even the agriculture, the definition is also says the art and science of cultivating soil and growing crops and raising livestock. So we need to understand growing crops and raising livestock. And what is crop that we'll understand in the uh, during the session of weed management. Okay, then when we say food and all, we need to understand what is food. Food uh, in uh, today's sense, the, uh, the definition of food is more than more like we are whatever you consume that is called food and all. But uh, in the real sense, nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain the life and growth. So any substance that is nutritious and that is of animal origin or plant origin, which can be consumed by animals or even plants. Food is any substance consumed to provide a nutritional support for an organism. So food is something that provides nutritional support, not just taste and all those things. It should be nutritious. So food is usually of a plant or animal or fungal in origin and potential nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins or minerals. So if we understand the meaning of food, then we will try to differentiate between weeds and the crops that we see in the field. So, but uh, when you study graduation in agriculture or any sub, uh, with respect to agriculture, even the practicing agriculture, people will understand that we are growing some crop, cultivating some crop. Any other crop uh, plant in the field, apart from the cultivable crop, is a weed. Like a weed plant growing where it is not wanted and in competition with cultivated plants. So, we, we see a cultivated plant, cultivated crop in the field. And any other crop, any other plant, apart from this cultivated plant, is defined as weed. A plant in the wrong place. Examples commonly are weed plants unwanted in human control settings, such as farm fields, gardens, lawns, and parks. We do farm farms. We develop a garden. We develop lawns and parks. Where the uh, and in that situation, if some plant grows and that plant is unwanted to us, then we say that that is not that is wrong. A plant place suppose uh, when we were studying a weed plant a maize crop is a weed like a maize crop in a weed plot is a weed so irrespective of that the plant is either useful or not when the cultivation crop cultivating we are cultivating a crop any other plant apart from that cultivated plant crop is called weed so this definition when we study Start using maintaining that we are removing them and all. So, but we need to differentiate the meaning. We need to understand the meaning of crop. We need to understand the different meaning of weed. And here, when is a weed, wherein there is a pa guru and sisha. So, guru asks uh, sisha the. Disciples ask the Guru, 
to after their uh, completion of the course and all what uh, we should give as a guru dakshina then uh, the guru says you roam around for one year you have uh, one if you any plant that is unwanted to uh, human beings you just bring that plant i want that plant so guru dakshina in the means of guru dakshina this guru asked a plant a plant which is unwanted by the human beings then all the disciples do their job roam around and after the one year they come to the guru and says sorry because sorry because we cannot have we did not any plant on earth which is not useful to human beings then they say sorry we cannot give any product any plant which means we need, what the uh, message we take from this is there is no plant which is unwanted which is unuseful to human beings only thing we need to understand the use of plants and farming is not just cultivating a crop with for to sell in the and make money and with that money we need to fulfill our daily needs but farming is something wherein we need to produce food for our livelihood apart from that raw materials for our industries which also fulfill our daily needs so with that we will get to this or some picture that we call as a weed one is this is hydrodon doxylon and all this we are certainly grown in the majorly coming up in the field and when you everyone we want to remove all these things in the, from the field by hook or crook coming to some losses that we will say we say what are the losses by weeds okay we can say usually we say weed causes reduction in the yield like through, through competition for with light nutrients water and space so we they help they reduce the main crop yield then they also say that reduce the yield by releasing stock, uh, toxic substances also called allelopathy the pros and cons the facts of this will end, will let you will get to know at the end of the presentation after seeing in between the slides then weeds can reduce the quality of product by like harvest the seeds mix up with the main crop and then uh, the quality is reduced weeds interfere with the harvest of the operation so whenever we are the travel you know, they are getting into field we want to harvest the main crop they are troubles they create troubles to the workers weeds may also some there are some weeds which are poison to animals the presence of weeds can impede water flow sometimes water flow in the irrigation canals be stopped or is pro created problem with the weeds and the presence of weeds in the lakes and reservoir can increase the loss of water by transpiration that plants observe the water and they have and transpiration happens and lakes in the lakes water quality quantities reduced so these are some direct losses indirect losses caused by weeds are weeds serve as an alternate host to many plant diseases and animal pests like there are many insects which who live on the weed plants as taking them as a host and again they attack the main crop this is what is said we will understand the facts about all these things weeds affect the health of the humans by stinging nettle uh, can cause skin rashes and flowers of them some can alert this to human beings these are the uh, ill effects but now understand the benefits of the weeds in the field so they help in conserving soil moisture and prevent erosion so there are studies which say that weeds will conserve the soil moisture in earlier slide we said it we will lose moisture and now it is conserve soil moisture which is we need to analyze the facts about this food and shelter can be provided for natural enemies of the pest and even alternate food sources for crop pests so there are crop see one is the crop pest can have a life live food on main crop they can also have a food on from the weed plants so once weeds are there the effect the infestation the main crop is reduced second is they also as they have uh, host for pests they can also have a host for natural enemies of the pests weeds can also be valuable indicators of growing conditions in the field like water levels compact compaction and ph based on the weeds there are many studies many uh, proofs where based on the weed situation we can decide what crop to be grown when to be or when to conditions of the soil etc weeds can also can be an import, important source of food for wildlife especially birds in turn so once the food they are food for birds then birds can also help in controlling pests and increasing their yield weeds are also source of pesticides like there are many weeds which are used directly as a, uh, like they uh, directly act as a uh, pesticides by releasing some hormones some uh, some uh, weeds we need to prepare the organic bio 
chemical agents like pesticides and all and spray them so that we can control the pests. And more than that, there are so weeds add organic matter and nutrient substance. See, there are some weeds which add to the tune of 3 to 3.5 percent of the nitrogen and voluminous weeds like 1 to 1.6 percent nitrogen through their uh, plant leaves and all. It's, see, by this, if you calculate like based on the nitrogen cost, 100 kg of these plant would add up to 76 rupees per uh, uh, to the field. So now this is how we need to understand. But only thing managing and all will let you know. So we used that wind and water soil origin. So as we know also that to, to prepare this one inch of soil from the top soil, it takes 100 to 5,000 years, 500 years. Some say there are 10,000 years based on the soil conditions and all. So with this, if we lose our top soil of one inch at all because of soil origin or wind erosion, we are losing the effort of 500, 600,000 years of natural soil preparation. But if you save that by means, but we need to preserve that soil. To preserve that soil, we cannot do anything. Now the plastic mulching is all done, but that is not economically feasible and that not a recommended one. Go with natural methods, methods, we usually get into weeds, help to conserve soil and uh, water, uh, water conservation and erosion of soil by means of wind or even water. And some more benefits are, see, some weeds are more fodder for animals. Now, looking into animal population, we are, we are, uh, maybe data says good and bad, but we need to have more than more animals in the country. So, to produce, have more animals, either sheep or cow or whatever, to have them, we need to have, produce, grow fodder. And the fodder requirement in India is 883.95 green fodder and the dry fodder and the production is only 583. This means 60 percent of the fodder is produced and 50 percent of the green fodder is produced. But if that is taken care by these weeds, if you start using weeds as a fodder for animals by cutting and even for by grazing methods, we, this gap of production and requirement can be fulfilled. So, once these weeds are used as a fodder, animal population increases, animal population increases, then whatever now based the goa adarita kushi or cow-based agriculture, cow-based living style and milk requirement, all those requirements for that matter, all those things will be taken care of and it will help for organic matter addition to the soil by increasing, that helps in, again, uh, organic, <coughs> this soil carbon is increased, organic carbon content is increased. And there are some weeds which are used as vegetables. So now we, in vegetables, we lot we import lot many vegetables like cabbage, radish, cauliflower, and all. And if this import will help in uh, will uh, get a problem in uh, uh, this one uh, important export uh, value of currency and all. So if we start using these weeds as in vegetables, then again the requirement of vegetables to be imported reduces, and that helps in the national economy. Apart from that, these uh, weeds will add on to nutritional deficiencies, malnutrition problem will be solved with all these weeds. And now if you, just all of you, 30 of you who are present here, just try to make a list of your vegetables that you consume. Hardly this may not increase more than 20 or 25. But if we, there are some farmers who said to me, like their vegetables, uh, the, the list of vegetables that we made is, we crossed more than 200. In a sense, these are unwanted plants in the field, which we can use them as the vegetables. And today we eat some vegetable. The next line of that vegetable you can consume only in the next year. In a sense, 365 days, 365 you can consume if you start using weeds as vegetables. And that creates a revenue and even nutritional support to the farmers. Some of the weeds have the medicinal value. So in this picture, see, if you see the first picture that Cyanron doctylon or Garike that is called, that is the the herbicide that we are using is named after that that it is karki in kanda okay herbicide so this but in this this is called gulokada sanjivini if you like the fourth point it is gulokada sanjivini that means many many of the diseases that are be humans get in, uh, maybe joint pains or even stomach problem ulcers whatever those are all cured by this sand and doctrine. and if you get into the market it is around 1600 rupees kg 1400 rupees kg powder it is so this is what there are many such weeds which can be consumed as a food and they are act as a medicinal to the human beings and also if we if we can create a revenue out of this we can make money by selling as a medicines 
Some of the weeds have economic importance, like some weeds are used in breeding horses, and even also they are used in breeding purposes in sugarcane, that is the first one. Second one is jay or nut, nut grass or nut scent, which are used in fragrance of agarbatis or incense sticks. So this, if you get into nut and all that, 30 rupees kg, 40 rupees kg, these weeds are. Some more benefit that we get is reclamation of alkali soils. Alkali soils is a major problem in many of the parts. So, but this plant, if that is incorporated into soil, it adds on to uh, solving of alkali soils, reclamation of alkali soils. And in that case, the when it is naturally growing and it, we are managing it very scientifically, then the alkali soils will, the problem of alkali soils will not arise. So, in that case, we need to understand the weeds benefits. Certain weeds have nematicidal properties and some have uh, even are used in preparation of organic pesticides. There are many weeds like Jake, this one, and there are many other such weeds which can be used in preparation of uh, organic pesticides at the farm level only. And there are some weeds which can be used for natural dyes, making some juices and all. So some list that is, goes on. So these are some uh, weeds which are grown uh, regularly, like false art, jake is this which mentioned, motherwort, blackberry, these are all some of uh, this one. See, this is picture where you go Argumal powder or Bermuda grass powder or Sandron doctor. If you observe the rate here, if you could be able to see 140 rupees per 100 gram of packet, that means 1400 rupees kg. Even if you get one 5 kg or 4 kg of powder in the field, it adds on to even 1000 rupees also, the 5000 is equal to one bag of uh, red gram seeds and all. Okay, grains. So these things we need to understand. We, it's how to market and all, it's a challenging job, but definitely. But we, as a farmer, if you start using them as a food, as then as a medicine gradually, and we also can market in the local market. And this is my most of Pudika. See, again, you see 1400 rupees per kg. This is how it's, there are many such marketed. Yes, see, this is how branding they are getting. Farmers is a means we, we, when the, we need not have a brand at all, but only thing we should have depend on quality. And there are many farmers who are doing, who are practicing of selling all these weeds in many places. At least if you start using it no, for our own purpose, then the diseases that we are getting or malnutrition for this one happens, those things are taken care and we as a farmer, we are healthy and we need not spend on health issues, we need not spend on buying vegetables from the market, we need not spend on maintaining, managing these things. So that helps us to get to win. But how we control right now? So with those, these plus and minuses, we, we in present day situations, how we are managing this? So one is mechanical method, everyone knows, hand pulling and all. So cropping by cultural methods. See, there are methods where in some crops will automatically control the some weeds. Like wheat controls the sandron doctylon, uh, then the garlic controls uh, the sandron doctylon. So these things we need to understand. And there are biological, like some organic uh, insects are released to manage the weeds. And this is chemical method of weeds where we are concentrating right now. So everyone use herbicides like pre-emergent, post-emergent, systematic, systematic. So all these things we are using, the effect of this chemical is very dangerous. And the dangers, we are, they are banned in Punjab, they are banned in Kerala, and they are banned in many countries. And in India, we are using it. Uh, so now, now we will try to analyze the benefits derived from losses based on the first line. See, we said that redu reduction in yield crop yield. So if they are reducing yield in early, that's only reduces if it is one third of the crop yield. If the crop is for 30, 100 days, so first 30 days it may crop, if the weed is in the grow higher, then it may create problem. Otherwise, that will not create much problem. So and that reduce the yield by allopathy, but there are many hormones released by the weeds which are very good to the plants and reduce the quality. If the weeds are used in the early stage for vegetables and all, the weeds will not get into seeds, production of seeds, and seeds will not get into crops. Weeds interfere with the harvest operations, but true, but again, if weeds are used in their early stage, weeds growth will not be that much, which create a problem in this one. Weeds may 
poison for animals true but it is quite natural sometimes during severe hunger they eat poisonous meats or otherwise animals know what to eat and what to eat not to eat if you go for grazing with animals animals understand what to eat and what not to eat and presence of weeds can impede water flow so very true in natural farming you don't need such canals to be built and irrigations to be provided our ancient text shows them even sugarcane was grown in natural in, without irrigation so now we are growing giving water so it may create problem but again it helps to increase the water table and the presence of weeds in lakes and reserves can increase loss of water by transpiration we need to decide it because sometimes weeds also reduce the loss of water by means of evaporation by covering the water so this now these are the decisions that we need to take whether they are really creating a problem or they are really good to the problem so indirect losses like weed create severe alternate so we need to decide there are 80 percent of the beneficial insects among total 100 insects only 20 percent of damaging so when they are host for damaging insects there are insects which are beneficial and weeds also create be the host for these pest in this beneficial insects also so so when the weeds are becoming a host for insects they are being host for beneficial insects also apart from that 20% damaging insects and because to kill this damaging insects and to kill these weeds if we start using we lose our honey bees and because of this honey bee loss we are giving incurring a loss in crop because honey bee population in one beehive in one acre of red gram plot increases the yield by half a quintal that's 10% in sunflower it increases by 25% in case of other vegetables and cucurbitus family it increases by 100% so these insects these uh, weeds will not be the host for just damaging insects but they will also be host for beneficial insects and population of beneficial insects is more than the damaging insects so we are, we need to understand ecology we need to understand environment more than the farming practices so non agriculture losses like weeds affect health of the humans like uh, by allergies and all yes many find it, not just weeds there are many fruits or grains that we eat come in thorny plants but we don't throw those thorny plants we know to cut them then cow hits us dog bite us but we are not uh, removing them we are living with them very systematically understanding their lifestyle we try we try symbiotically we try to live with dogs cows and thorny plants and all similarly we need to understand and learn living with this also so that we understand the Uh, benefits of weeds now it's up to us decide whether weeds are really unwanted or less wanted because the message that we give it so unwanted means we start removing them so from now on unwanted they are less wanted so that we can understand and use them for benefits of the farming and benefits in the farming practices and also for our food for food medicinal and even external source like benefits like preparation of dyes houses and all. Then how to manage in the field? This is true, but when we weeds grow, we don't get crop. So that's what the myth is. So how to so, so use as a vegetable? So we get less seed. So if we start weeds, there is many weeds which we start using vegetable in the tender age, so early stages of the life. If we start them using at the ten, when they are tender, they never mature and produce seeds. So only few plants will be existing, and those produce less seeds. And in future, down the weed population in the field will be less. Use weeds as a fodder by means of grazing also. See, even in the red gram plot, we use sheep and goat for grazing at the uh, later ages, and the weeds were taken care of. And for the sheep and goat, never ate the red gram crop. They were only grazing on only weed crops. And even bullocks are taken in the field uh, red gram plot, and they never ate red gram plot during before flowering stage. After flowering stage and fruiting stage, they eat it. But before flowering stage, they never touch the red gram plot. Red gram crop. Stop using chemical fertilizer to reduce cost of farming. So if you start using chemical fertilizer, obviously the cost of farming increases, and again to manage weeds, it will be tough. Now, if you go with natural farming, when we go based agriculture and all, because of organic carbon uh, content in the soil, the weeds population will also be reduced. Add more of organic compost so that organic matter is increased in the soil, making soil rich and reduce the weed growth. Use weeds as medicines, so both for human beings and animals, so that they get a value. So if the plants that are available in the field, they are creating some value to the people. They are need in the need for the human beings whenever they are sick. So then we don't try to cut them because we want them. Okay, and then choose the crop based on the weed type in the soil. Because when the weeds are uh, uh, pulses weeds are more, we need to go from cereal crop. 
when more cereal crop are there in the field we need to go for pulse crop so based on that we need to so what if the next comes what if we kill the weeds so the if we kill start killing weeds we lose our biodiversity yesterday we celebrated day before yesterday we celebrated soil and biodiversity day so it was our soil world soil day and uh, we the, this year concept was to save biodiversity and to save biodiversity in indian budget it is 1 lakh 15970 crore for the period of 5 years imagine this crores of rupees divided among number of acres we have per hectare it is around 8000 rupees so that means 8000 rupees we are spending per acre to cut the biodiversity and there are so that one one schemes and 24 central ministers and 29 departments as biodiversity relevant and we are killing the weeds across low across india by spraying herbicide and all and we lose the biodiversity so this two very controversial statement we want to save biodiversity we want to keep, make monocropping in the field this is they cannot go together we need to have a biodiversity at every farm every field so that for that we need to stop stop killing weeds and also increase the biodiversity in the field then harmful effects of the herbicide looking into that in october 2018 government of punjab banned the sale of glyphosate in the state in february 2019 indian state of kerala also banned the, this glyphosate but in many many of the country states we are selling it very pro, like with, with all scientific background and all so this creates cancers and all in human being so for us uh, producing few crops as a main commercial crop and uh, having consuming them as a food is not the healthy symptom i we need to start using all the weeds all the crop that are available in the field uh, for food purposes so that we use them as a food and not and the ill effects of the use of herbicides uh, all stopped okay these are some weeds that we get into in the field which are used as a food these are very good food to eat so now that there the, i think there's the only one book on positive of good good weeds are the guardians of the soil which you can browse and get take the copy of uh, in the internet or you can buy and uh, which is explain the better things of the uh, soil and if weeds doesn't exist in the soil and there is uh, farming cannot take very profitability and the result is we are saying last 60 years when the green revolution started started using more of chemicals pesticides the problem one after the other problem started to go. and the ill effects of now herbicide is also being known and even who says that this the herbicides will are their main reasons for causing cancer and all so if you are concerned about your health we need to stop killing weeds so for which you can go through these books weeds are the guardians of the soil and there is another book which you can buy, like alternate to chemical farming which is written which is compiled by malin ma'am myself so which uses lot many weed crops lot many plants that are available in the field to produce, manufacture all the insecticides pesticides that even herbicide also with gomutra salt and all how to man manufacture how to use them so that the weeds and plant wanted plants that we see here today can be utilized as a to manufacture uh, inputs for the farming so that we stop buying because present day expenditure on farming inputs is 5000 4000 to 6000 rupees per acre in ryland area of our sundi so in irrigated it must be still high so if you can save that 5000 6000 rupees per acre you know by conserving the biodiversity conserving the weed plants in the field definitely agriculture will be a profitable one so with this i conclude this so if you have any doubts please let me know thank you mr malinath for a very good presentation i now request the participants to ask their questions we'll also be posting the speakers contact details in the chat window so that if you don't have time to take up all your questions you can contact the speaker separately after the meeting now uh, mr malinath can i request you to stop sharing the screen okay okay sir. thank you participants please ask your questions one by one the first question is from Who will not ask the first question, please? Okay. Um, Dr. Guru Raj Achar. Yeah. Yes, Good please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Malena. It's an exciting uh, presentation. We always felt beets are unwanted, but now you made us understand that they are equally wanted, if not less wanted. But okay. Thank I you, would, sir. Yeah, I would like to know. how to differentiate between a weed which is of nutritive value 
or medicinal value or otherwise. How do we know that? Because we never uh, uh, looked at weeds as a, a plant for food. Sir, uh, with this note, uh, we, last three, four years we started working on this. Initially, we wanted to stop use of herbicide by the farmers, but we could not get any answer to that. Then we started using using them as food, medicine and all. We started with Ayurvedic doctors. Then when we went to in the villages talking to women, rural women who are we have manually weeding, then they all know it. Only thing we go to field, start using, we don't know. But the earlier when we in this is a vegetable, this is a vegetable, then they and explaining the people. No? They said, Oh, my mother is to eat, my grandmother is to eat, so this is how I know. So, by its virtue of experience, over a period because you get hardly 150 plants in your field if you go and travel and in your field. So, if you, in, in the first stages, initially we need to ask, and even animals guide us. The best option, if we don't know anything, animal guide us what we want, what not to eat. But now it is now very tough for us to observe that and all. So best is our Ayurvedic doctors will help you. And even some rural age women in the in the village, they will help us to what to eat, what not to eat. And how to cook and all. We started making a list and we made 200 weeds list as such, how to cook and all. We are in the process of bringing that as a form of book. But many people are across country are working on this. So now into food. Anything, you just taste it, it will guide you what to eat, what not to eat. For medicinal, I don't, I'm not an expert, but Ayurvedic people will explain on that what to, how to take as a medicine. But it's a uh, waste of some common weeds, we know it, and by virtue of our experiences and all, by if you start working for six months, seven months in the field, definitely the plants will guide you how to take. This is what my experience since last two, three years. But you need to know exactly, you can't eat every weed and as a chutney or as a, a dal. So it may have under. Do you think there will be adverse yeah. effects if you consume some weeds which are not to be consumed? Yeah, definitely, sir. See, if you take some weeds, uh, and pay, see, there will be milky weeds, usually they are dangerous to eat. Okay, so which releases milk. There are thorny weeds which are not good. And there are some weeds, if you take one leaf and all, if you taste, taste now, then you will know. And if consumption in quantity, that then comes. If you eat every, anything that is in large quantity, even the amrita becomes visha. Okay, uh, amrita becomes poison. So in that sense, uh, it, uh, right now the literatures may not be available. People are getting in, and down the line, one year, two year, we, we all may, because we may not, we are not knowing the uses of amrutma balli before uh, that is called giloy before corona. Many of us, uh, uh, we are using how to use, but because corona is too aware. Create awareness regarding Giloy. Uh, so gradually, once we our conscious is there, that we need to use start using the weeds that are available. So then automatically we will uh, start learning. And by the process, uh, or there are ready-made thoughts or ready-made books and this. But by uh, slowly you can definitely learn because for us to teach everyone to get graduation, it takes four years engineering medical. So understand this subject also, it takes some time. But I cannot, I am not really expert in this to like, uh, because I am using around 50, 60 weeds. Uh, and based on there are some farmers, I learned from farmers in Mysore and some other places and even some rural women across by they talking what the, they used to eat and all. Because in Canada, I could give some names, but in English, I am not very sure. Uh, but in uh, that book, we are mentioning scientific and also. But uh, I am sure, I am sure that if you consume something, it may create problem also. But by before consuming, we need to take a first-hand information from either Ayurvedic doctor nearby or uh, some expert aged farmers uh, across or some uh, someone who is working in this field. Can you give a reference of those books? Sir, now that the uh, weeds books, uh, if, there are, if you get into the uh, books as such, uh, only that uh, uh, it's under printing in Canada. But uh, if you get into that, uh, there are many research papers I can share here. Uh, I, uh, there are many research papers. If you start searching weeds as food, na, you will get to know a lot many. If there, there is an inbox I'm mailing, na, if you put your mail, I can forward those research papers done across the globe. Even in India, also, there are many scientists who have worked, who have made a list. Even in Hyderabad, in Hyderabad Karnataka, there are 100 vegetables listed by some research, uh, some scientists. What are the list vegetables and how it can be consumed? Like sambar, like vegetable, like in sambar and all. Thank yes, you. Sir, thank you. Uh, if thank you. Just, you. There's a 
mail if you put a mail na i will definitely forward the research papers and if you, you can get into the list of the vegetables done okay, okay. right thank you thank you thank you mr pragana mr pragana to ask the next question ಸರ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊನ್ನರೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೋದು ಒಂದು ಗಡ್ಡೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಕ್ ಹುಲ್ ತರನೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ತುಂಬಾ ತುಂಬಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಿಧಾನಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ವೀಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗಿದೆ ತೆಗಿಯೋದು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಗ್ರೋನ್ and it is uh, we we are not able to weed it out we don't want to use any chemicals and it is highly difficult to weed it out manually and uh, each and each sir kelagade balloli adanga agutte gullagatti gaddi iddage irutte correct banda nidu bangutte avada correct it correct it correct perfect ha that is cypress rotation okay sir okay ha that is called jake or natgrass that i slept me as the photo was mentioned in the presentation ha uh, usually okay. Uh, that if you get into literatures na that the weed is very valuable and there are industries which prepare pesticide out of it if you are if you know that that is a very highly fungicidal property the fungus diseases are controlled in the field and second is if there the value of that in agrabath industry is 30 to 40 rupees per kg fresh and uh, okay. next is if that jake uh, if you remove it and place in your cow shed if there are if you are rearing cow or sheep and all if that is jake with the root or the bulb also if they are placed uh-huh. in the sheep uh, your shed the fungal diseases that has uh, uh, the if the animals is to get they are controlled they are managed okay. so that but and even if you there the in the last slide i mentioned my book alternative chemical farming uh, that is kannada right. version is kannada so uh, that okay. with that we have that that how to prepare insecticide or fungicide out of this jake this one also okay if sir you, okay if you browse oh. by cypress rotunda get the benefits of it in the blow on this one okay, okay sir, thank, thank you. you may any more questions mr prakana no okay uh, no sir that thank you thank you okay next question participants next question uh, is from uh, who would like to ask the next question before i go to the switch chat window for questions anybody interested to ask questions participants okay let me okay jo mr joseph brito yes mr joseph brito thank you mr lakshmipati please mr valida very nice presentation very useful see thank you sir draw your attention to this organic crops in organic okay. crops now weeding has become a big issue uh, and yes, they don't want to use this uh, uh, what it called herbicides and all that especially glyphosate people are reluctant to use so what's the way to overcome this because this is the costliest uh, 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 operation in organic farming weeding okay. so because of okay. labor issue labor shortage uh, farmers are uh, reluctant to go in for organic crops what any yes. remedy for this from your side please so sir one is i some we as an environmentalist or something like that if you observe and you are a profitable farmer we will be in not kill weeds one thing second step then still if you want to kill them we have in organic farming without in, in without crop na we have an organic herbicide also made out of salt and cow urine experimented by farmer and successfully seen in many of the weeds that we have seen but uh, to our experience if i take some example of one there is a one weed uh, so we take any example which produces seeds in in kannada it is called kukka ani kukka theli and uh, gulbarga it is very popular weed and for that example of that weed in any any field any weed for that matter in early stage okay sir in early stage they are used as a vegetable like parallel to the amaranthus uh, amaranthus species there are many weeds in the field so if you start using them as a vegetable in early stage there are 10000 plants suppose this year in your field or one lakh seeds 
grows on across uh, and they are growing as a weed if you start using them as a vegetable in early stage you start picking them up and by the year, by the time around 3 to 2 to 3 months the plant population in the field is reduced because you are using them for your field in your consumption so gradually the next year the number of seeds in the field is reduced and over a period of time the seed population gets reduced and also the once the people are coming in the entire farming family and even labor class these weeds they are not useful they are not using them because of this modernization or scientific farming whatever you call we are removed from their mind that they are unwanted we need to kill them so people start using them the people the we will get they were also to be weird them because they get weeds they get food for them and they start using them and now this year we are trying to experiment on selling them in the market because only for, since two three years we are working in this line and if you start selling these weeds na, there is no problem this one concept of cultivating a crop and all those things that uh, in the sense weeds in the field um, but right now i don't have very specific concept to kill them weeds with organic herbicide but one herbicide we have made with the cow urine and the salt with water and that we are getting a good result in the field yeah Hope thank I you could you repeat one. could you repeat that uh, organic weedicide cow urine and salt we take three liters of uh, gomutra uh, cow urine uh, two to three liters of cow urine two to three kg of uh, salt in eight liters of water and we spray okay but, thank uh, you, thank you any, kills, sir one thing is we, it kills even the crop if it's sown on the uh, spread on the crop okay it should be spread only on the weeds ah we only on the weeds okay thank you thank you very much hey. Right, thank you. Let's now go over to the yes, Mr. Siddhapa. Mr. Siddhapa. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, uh, for the nice presentation. That oh, this, uh, I mean, most of the I asked most of the agronomists. Uh, they are telling that this glyphosate will be converted to the uh, phosphorus available for mass P two O five if you spray on the weeds and soil. Is it so, sir? Sir, I, I, see, I, I don't know, but I cannot uh, move, put a more light on that. But glyphosate have proved to be science. WHO says glyphosate causes cancer, and worldwide it is banned. Mm -hmm. And uh, conversion of phosphorus and all, if you look into that requirement of what is the requirement of phosphorus to the soil, what is the, how it is takes, if you get into biology of plants and all, that we need not apply urea KP from as an external source. Plant never take mm -hmm. nutrients. It's like if you read secrets of soil, secrets of plants, written by foreign authors, and they, they study, they studied in Indian, Indian agriculture, the vast thing, and uh, they mm -hmm. said they all those things in India not to put a fertilizer, and then the conversion mm -hmm. of high phosphorus through the glyphosate is an I don't I it's a nonsense issue, nonsense topic. Mm -hmm. uh, was saying that sorry for it but uh, addition mm -hmm. of something from outside is not good and that with glyphosate mm -hmm. na, uh, that is not uh, advisable at this stage when there are advanced studies made if it is 10 years mm -hmm. back now this story would have been very interesting or uh, maybe but now when there are mm -hmm. effects of glyphosate uh, and banned now we need not put uh, any light on that how it can be used Mm -hmm. But in coffee, we are facing, as you said, in coffee, we are facing problems because if you spray glyphosate this year, next year, the yield also will be affected. How it is affected that nobody is able to understand. How is it, sir? Is it, is it affected in the sense it is reduced or increased? It's reduced, reduced, drastically uh, sir, reduced. Coffee, see, recently, I've been to one coffee estate in Chikmangalur as a consultant. Uh, yeah. so there we, so we are trying to work on uh, different issues like how to manage we are trying to use heap as uh, but that uh, that like uh, manager was ready but uh, because of uh, other their ethical issues we could not do it we started using sheep as a weed side uh, sheep for weed management in red gram we are successful what's that what's sheep sheep what's that sheep sheep is ah, a sheep goat and sheep is there uh, so yeah, sheep yeah. we try in, uh, this on the red gram plot, banana plot for weeding, and it's already mentioned mm. in literature. Farmers in India with those who are uh, they take sheep for grazing uh, across the state, they use it. Mm. So in coffee state mm. we to use it, but the, we, we, we are not able to do it. When there we try, we are trying to find economical uses of weeds so that okay. coffee weeds can also be exported. So if you can oh, reach okay. me after this uh, on my mobile number, we can think of uh, like. Sure. Oh, if, 
how we can manage in coffee because it's a, for me i am taking it in challenge because coffee being a very commercial crop yeah yes sir for, for us also it is it has become a serious problem for that no, because, uh, they are where we visited 600 acres uh, 600, 600 plus odd acres so they are making an 100% yeah. organic uh, so is very mm-hmm. interested in that converting it into organic since many days so we are mm-hmm. making Okay. Will you suggest any some uh, no, some acid? I mean, wheat for some acidic soil that was in the chart window. So just, I mean, yes, to uh, I mean, increase the pH of the soil. Are there any weeds to increase the pH of the soil so that we can grow in the acidic soil like uh, coffee plantation? Yes, sir. Even even this this one, uh, I'll I don't know this. I'll get to the name of the plant here. Uh, this one, sir. Uh, which one? Uh, Okay, I will contact you later. Sir, ठीक रहने दो सर कन्नड़ दागा। ये ये ना ठीक था सर, ये ना ठीक था सर। एक ही एक ही है तो कन्नड़ दागा। English एक ही है तो text। हाँ, बिल्कुल एक ही करें क्योंकि एक ही एक ही कड़ा तहाल बर्तन होता है यार इधर। हाँ, वो तो वो तो एक कद कड़ा एक कद कड़ा आती है। एक ही हाँ एक कद कड़ा तो श्रेष्ठ है बास है। It grows it grows as a shrub no sir। क्या ट्रॉफी से ना � क्वेश्चन Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. sir. Thank you very much for a wonderful, wonderful presentation. Uh, so uh, uh, I am I am trying to get into organic farming uh, uh, in in the coming weeks. Uh, so uh, I think this okay. presentation was extremely useful for me. Uh, and uh, one question I do have, uh, sir, is uh, uh, yeah, when we are uh, starting organic farming. uh how how can we make sure that you know there is very little or uh, you know le- weeds uh, or you know or harmful weeds uh, that you know uh, uh, for, so that we know the, the initial and uh, uh, even future uh, yield will be good sir uh, this is what is a concept i don't know because since three years i'm experimenting in my field and i have seen lot many farmers uh, ex- experience than me who are into this Uh, one year I sown red gram, or second year I sown green gram with cotton, and uh, some other third year we sowed in the weed crop only. The farmer was reluctant to sow. He said, "My labor was said in this much weed, we cannot sow. People will scold me and all." But we said, "We just so we want to experiment, and we experimented, and we got the results of the yield of the same that the fellow farmer beside me who sprayed chemical pesticide, we have put a manure, and all those things he did normally with scientific farming." And we did nothing apart from that applying Jyamrutha, it does perni as a pesticide. We did not. Yes, Mr. Malinath. I think we lost him for a minute. Hello, Mr. Malinath. We are not getting your audio. Hello, Mr. Malinath. Mr. Malinath, can you please hear us? Sorry. Mr. Malinath. Ha sir. Yes sir. No, I think your your voice was breaking and uh, for the past a few seconds your answer was not audible. Can you please repeat the answer to Mr. Srini Kashyap? Yes sir, yes sir. Again I will get into. See sir, since sir, okay. three years we are we have grown we are, we are sown the crop in the weeds. So weeds only by falling with the weeds shadow falls on the main crop. Then crop yield gets reduced. The shadow is not falling on the this one. Weeds will not weeds will not create any problem to the main crop. So we need to see that the yield shadow will not so though that much weed will not be grown. So that can be managed by intercultivation. 
and also pre sowing cultivation we call magi olmi or edi in kannada so before sowing the people do some cultivation and after that they sow and weeds and crop by the first rain the both start growing and after 15 16 15 20 days inter cultivation is done in the between the rows so that weeds population is managed and after that uh, 30 to 40 days one more inter cultivation is done if everything the soil conditions are good otherwise crop grows they start applying jivamrutha and all and down the line one or two years if the organic matter in the soil is increased the population of weeds will also be managed and more than that sir we okay, start thank you we we'll start okay, okay. we we'll got the answer mr speaker okay next we will go to mr prasad mr uh, prasad sir the next question thank you dr lakshmi vivati uh, good morning uh, mr please, malina please, please. good morning sir good morning uh my question is regarding parthenium uh, do you consider it uh-huh. as a weed if s is there any useful use of it sir uh, yes sir because parthenium is a very dangerous weed and we started using but uh, for human concern <laughs> mr malinath your audio is gone nowadays is not we don't use it and even touching the soil great allergy and all so the not audible yes no no he has gone off the network i think is some problem with the network uh, let him come back he, i think is mr malinath no he has just uh, he lost his uh, network yeah mr uh, malinath ha uh, sir you are going off and on again uh, maybe your oh, network got a, got a problem sir, okay no problem you can please answer the question now sir parthenium is a weed is very dangerous that i also agree but uh, for any human this also creates allergies and all but uh, we started using that as a pesticide to preparation of some pesticides uh, with formula like we to make some juices and then this make to decompose and we started using for the insects and pests pests and insects are controlled to very well extent and even if you put the plug them and so put them in an mulching purpose in early stage before so seedling before flowering and all then down the gradually over a period of time the weed population can be reduced uh, the parthenium population can be reduced and apart from that when the, there are some insects which kill this parthenium and they are released in the field but when you go for natural farming those natural pests of the parthenium population increases and parthenium over a period of time can be controlled but not immediately one or two years thank because you because now thank the population is reduced sir so it's yeah, a very tough you. job thank you i think uh, that answers uh, the question by mr kesho also post in the web i mean in the chat window next question we'll move on to mr pa mathim his question is you mentioned about uh, nematicidal control through sweet through weeds will you explain the same in detail sorry sir my network is you got the question you got the question mr malina yes, sir name this on nematicidal that we have ha yes sir so there are see this ekigada uh, what is crotularia uh, species sorry sir this again some issue, issue with my network yes sir you are able to hear me now yes sir, ah, sir. now so i can so again hear. Uh, this parthenium and crot- yes sir crotularia species that is mentioned ekigada earlier also said na that uh, in uh, earlier stage in paddy field and at all it, it was to be incorporated in the field to manage in nematodes only so or even the increase the uh, ph of the soil so in that case this uh, will help by to kill the insects in nematodes how to make it all it's again uh, to decompose that in the water and make some slurry kind of thing or juice kind of thing what you call liquid and spray in 1 is to 10 liters of water and that can be done if you take with a 1 liter of some it's not very hard for this this much and this much you can fermenting like 1 kg 10 kg of this calotropis in 10 liters of water decompose it make into slurry kind of thing or juice kind of thing and just mix it in one again 10 liters of water spray it can be done 
But even if this leaves okay. and all. Uh, okay, please continue. Uh, so this, these things, so whatever the, the, the weeds which are uh, pinja, like uh, what you call it, uh, bitter in taste, they will all help us to uh, bitter in taste and which weeds which uh, give milk while plucking. And these weeds will help us to manage these uh, insects like nematodes in the field. Thank you. Next question is from Mr. Murali. Mr. Murali? Mr. Murali has got any question? Uh, sir, using the glyphosate, it will affect the soil condition? Yes, sir. Hello? Sir. Hello, sir. Hello, I'm here. Glyphosate use more the soil condition, Alagata, the yield is from Sundra Agata. Ah, sir, I get it. ಬೆಳೆ ಕಳೆ ತೆಗಿಯಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವ್ ಹೇಳ್ದಂಗೆ ಕಳೆ ಅಹ್ ಇದು ಕಳೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸಾಯಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ನ ತೋರ್ಸ್ಕೊಡತ್ತ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಸಾಯಲ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲಿಟಿ ನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮುರಳಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮುರಳಿ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಪೋಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಾಯಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸಾಯಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸಾಯಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಪ್ sir yes sir so see the sir question is that soil structure soil conditions are affected with glyphosate or not sir definitely because soil is not a dead organism dead material it's one spoon of contains microorganisms to the tune of population of movement things on earth okay so those many insect microorganisms are in the soil and by the spraying of these chemicals which are harmful to insects sorry weeds and all they also kill these weeds because we this micro organisms are dependent on this for their food the soil richness can be known by the living or population of living micro organisms in the soil if micro organisms are killed soil structure soil texture soil condition all is spoiled and over a period of time we cannot grow anything the best example is punjab area and even sindhunur area in karnataka where they are not able to grow anything. because of overdose of these things so definitely the soil structure is hampered so only thing now we need to remove a concept called weed which is unwanted and try using them for the benefit which indian agriculture emphasized on this over since ages you are perfectly right sir i know that's what uh, see using uh, uh, this is uh, uh, for your beside it will affect the uh, what are the uh, the earthworms microorganism so the basic uh, soil condition hello your water holding capacity all will get affected okay shall i move to dr mr prasad to ask his question mr prasad yes uh, mr malinath can you hear me yes yes please go ahead he can hear you uh, regarding calatrophis gigantea can we use the latex of this yes, plant to spray on mealy bugs ha sir sir this white that uh, that can be done tried because there uh, we have we are, i have not personally used it for that purpose but definitely it will kill because of our uh, we, as we use the insecticide for many this one na, it may i am not very sure but it will try, you can try it it, it will kill okay thank you thank you right uh, mr malila i want to know whether this question has been answered by you already one question posed by mr siddappa please suggest some weeds which is suits for acidic oil soil sir that's what i calatrophis just now he said na sir 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 processor said i already answered that 
okay okay right thank you thank you okay any more questions any more questions participants hello okay dr hello. gurraj achar again yes please go ahead permission it's not a question. not a question i want to draw the attention of all the participants it, which is not out of context to what is happening in ellu elur where 400 children and people are admitted in the hospital because of contamination with chemicals used in the farming so we as uh, honorable members of the society should ensure that we only use chemicals which are safe for the human beings this is just a, a note of attention which i want to draw to all the participants thank you nice of you dr gurraj acha nice of you very nice of you thank you very useful anyway okay thank you so much anybody any other questions i think we now completed the round of questions i like to thank uh, mr mallinath hamadi on behalf of agriculture information for taking his time to speak with us with an excellent uh, presentation i now request the organizer of the meeting ms rajini jain to please close the meeting thank you thank you mr lakshmi i like to thank the speaker mr mallinath for taking the time to i also like to thank all the participants for their time the meeting is now closed yes thank you sir. thank you thank you